Hello you guys, welcome back into my channel. I am Jay's Reaction Videos and thank you guys for tuning in to my channel. And if I were you, I would grab a treat and let's get ready for this tea. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jay's Reaction and I'm back again with another video. Hi right, you guys. Um, I'm going to do this nice and I'm going to do it sweet. Because I'm a changed person. Um, There was a video that was done of me. So let's, let me correct it. Let me really correct it. Then when I correct it, I'm going to show you a video of the actually the Holy Ghost exposing my husband. And let him tell you what he did. Which I'm pretty sure all y'all probably done seen the video because I'm pretty sure I think I uploaded that. But let me get right into the video. This person, I'm not going to call her name. I'm not going to say who she is because I'm not going to bash her like she bashed me. And uh, for you bashing me, I forgive you. I love you. And... Uh, if you ever need me, I'm always here for you. I'm not. I'm. I'm a changed person. I'm not going back into these reactions where we talking and doing and talking stupid. I did that, y'all, because I was trying to scratch my legs out. But I'm not gonna do that, you know, because I'm just not gonna do it. But um, what I wanted to say was, she got on there and said that I bashed it, my husband. I did this and I did that. Let me tell you something. The reason why I did my videos is because I wanted to let everybody know that I was in an abusive relationship and didn't nobody know that. And then Ephesians 5 and 11 says that, you know, that's what you're supposed to do is expose the evil. When I tell you, I, first of all, I didn't even put what I really need to put on YouTube. I mean, I got so many videos that will, I, I can show y'all right now. And the reason why I haven't uploaded because I know that they will strike me. That's how bad it is. Because it's got to do with guns. Somebody died. And I'm not going to say it. So before you even come and do a video and, let, and try to put your two cent, well, really one cent in it, don't do that. You don't know my life. You don't know my story. Everything that I've told y'all on this YouTube channel, I came back with receipts. And I still got more receipts that I have not uploaded, which I'm not going to upload right now. Because I just feel like it's I'm not going to do it unless I have to. Because I got videos that it really hurts my heart, man, how this man really did me. But I did thought I upload one video, but if I did not upload it again and let you guys see it after I get through saying what I got to say. But before you come on here and bash me and say I'm fake, I'm not who God say I am, the Bible says, touch not my prophet and do my prophet no harm. So you better be careful for what you speak over me. You don't know my life. You don't know the, the relationship that I have with God. I'm not going to bash you. I'm better than that. But you don't know my life. I got a right to tell my story because I've been in an abusive relationship. I could have lost my life dealing with this man. I could have been dead today. I, I, I should not even be on this, on this phone talking to, to nobody because that's how bad it was. I could have had this man locked up for so many stuff. He could have got prison time for, the, for life. So don't come on here. And tell me I'm bashing nobody because for one, I didn't even say his name. And I did not bash anybody. It spoke for himself. He said it himself. And like I said, I'm going to show you the video and let you see it for yourself of what he used to do to me. And this just only one video. I still got another video that I want to upload. It uh, which, it, where he's saying that he did put his hands on me. This man did a lot of stuff to me. And I didn't come on here to try to make it seem, I came on here to help other women. 
to let them know I'm going through the same thing. I know how it is when somebody tell you that they that you love that they love you, but yet still disrespecting you, beating on you, you know, and let your family do me any type of way. You know, I know other women is going through this, so I'm trying to tell them what to do, how to do it. And for you to sit over there and do the stupid stuff that you be doing in your videos is all, all your stuff ain't even, it's all false. Everything that you've been talking about ain't even true. All the stuff ain't even come to pass. It's just a lie. So who are you? To even come and even say something when you don't even have the receipts. I have receipts. And, and like I said, the reason why I haven't uploaded it yet is because I, I don't want to get striked. YouTube has got bad with this stuff about striking for violence. And it's violent. And I don't want to get striked for that. I mean, it's just the enemy, man. It's like he know how he know he knows who who I am. And he always trying to tear me down, but it ain't gonna work. But I'm going to go ahead and show y'all this video because I thought I did upload it, but I might need to upload it again because somebody didn't watch it because they had to do a video of me and then tag me in the video. But like I said, I forgive you for everything you did. Every word you said about me, even when you cussed, but you try to call yourself and try to mock God and make it like you were standing behind a pulpit preaching. But be careful who you put your mouth on. Because you don't even know who I am. This is my channel. If I want to tell my story, I got the right to tell my story. It's just like somebody writing a book. They writing a book of them coming out of abuse. But I don't have to write the book. I could just tell it. It's my testimony of where I was in and where God got me now. That's why I said come on my journey and you will see. And if you will watch my videos all the way straight straight through and quit watching pieces and bits, you will know what's going on. I'm so sick of uh, people always got something to say when you don't even know who I am. You don't know nothing about me. Just like how you did that video and got on the, on the YouTube and talking about how is she getting all these subscribers and she just got on here. She's in a new minority. You said I was in a new minority. And what new minority? Making what? What Numenati is I'm in? Just out here spreading lies. You need to know the difference between bashing and exposing. Read your Bible. Bashing is what you're doing. You literally bashing me. But I ask God to forgive you, and I ask God, that if I if I did something, which I know I ain't doing that, because I didn't even really, have, I, your name ain't never came out of my mouth. But you need help. You really need help. Because you don't got nothing to talk about. This is my story. I could have lost my life. The Bible said what's done in the dark comes to the light. And it's, it, it's done came to life. He even spoke it of himself. That's why I keep my videos, my receipts, and still got it. I got a video when I was fixing to get ready to leave. Matter of fact, instead of me showing you the video, which I can show it to you, but I, I tell you because I can't show you because it's got a gun in it. But he, had, he, was, he was holding up a gun and was telling me if I leave, he was going to kill himself. And I knew if I would have walked out that door, he was going to, he, he would literally would, would probably would shoot me. That's the type of thing I was going through. You don't even know my story. I'm so sick of people always doing the stuff that they doing. They always don't know what they try, try to test. Instead of you trying to uplift me and say, I'm sorry that you're going through that, you up here trying to take a demon side. You don't even know my husband. Nothing. I'm the one showing receipts. He ain't got no receipt to, sh no receipt to show. He only got his mouth. But I got all the receipts that I can show. 
And, and he said, I don't say this like numerous of times because he got on there and said, if the police, if you call the police, I'm going to kill everybody in the police station. So don't do that. Don't come to me. You don't know what I'm going through. Nothing. Stop tagging me in your videos. If you're not, everything you said is false. You don't know nothing about me. I'm a changed person. You think that people cannot change? You don't even know your baby because if you know your baby, then you will know that you will forgive and have a forgiving heart, which I don't know what I did to you for you to be even feel this way about me. That's why God, that's why people always say God is not like us because he's a forgiving God. Y'all will sit there and just because I did reaction videos, which I didn't do videos to hurt nobody. I just did videos just to let people know, you know, what was what. But I just got out of it because I just got tired of people just kept on seeing crazy stuff. And I just got out of it and I changed, I just changed the way I did things. But for you to come on here and bash me, call me fake preacher, apostle, uh, she thinks she's an apostle, you wrong. And I pray that God have mercy over your soul. And I pray that you would know more about God. And I do forgive you for everything and every word you ever said to me. All right, you guys. That's what I wanted to say. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this video because evidentially did nobody see the video. This is just a video of when my husband, actually, he, we got back together at that time. We had got back together and he did He did a video. He did a video to, uh, uh, to let everybody know that he was sorry for what, how he treated me. So I'm going to show you the video. And uh, I will be back. Well, I'm not going to come back on. I will see you guys back in the next video. All right, you guys. I am Jay's Reaction. See you guys later. Wife, Jessica, as I let y'all, for y'all that don't know her, let me rephrase it Apostle Jessica. She is a real <laughs> prophet. She's a warning prophet at that. But to make it short, I just want y'all to try to understand me. And what drew me to Jessica is I really seen how much that she really cared about the Lord. And I didn't lust after her. And I didn't look at her in no other way but the godly way. It's like when I saw this woman, I don't know. It's like a light was there. It's like every step, everywhere, everywhere she went, there was light. It was no darkness over her. I seen it, but I don't know if the other people in the Toyota plant saw that, but I, I could see it. And I said, oh my God. I said, what is this? And one day she was just standing out there on the floor and there was a bright light over her. And she didn't even look at me that way. And I walked up to her and I said, I love you. And she said, why would you say you love me? You don't even really know me. But I just wanted to tell her that I love her. And the reason why I said that is, it was God that wanted me to tell her that. Because if she loves God, man, what more love could you want? What more love could you gain? But that drew me close to her. And I just want to come on here to apologize for any way that I have ever made my wife feel like I didn't trust and I didn't believe in her. She is a warning prophet. Don't get me wrong. A lot of folks fear that stuff because they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. They think my wife is all oh, my wife is talking. My wife ain't talking. My wife really telling the truth. God lies it on her heart. She cries out to him. She fasts. When I say she get into a deep worship, this woman gets into a deep worship. She blows snot for God. She cries out to God to where she messes her lashes up. And I be like, baby, you messing your lashes up? And she tell me, baby, this, I'm doing this for God. I ain't worried about no lashes. She said, I got plenty of lashes. I, I can fix them lashes. And I said, okay, baby, you're right. 
But what I'm saying is this. When I was living in the worldly way, I used to manipulate my wife. And I didn't even know I was doing it. But if you're in the world, living the worldly way, you probably going to think that worldly way is right. And that, that, that that's what you want. That's what This is how it's going to be. But no, you got to go a little deeper. You got to seek. And you got to not let folks pray for you that you really don't know. I mean, like, they need to come with some scriptures to line that up. But what I'm saying is this. My wife is a God-fearing woman. And I just want to apologize for all the things that I made her feel like that I didn't believe in what she was saying, that I didn't trust in what she was saying, and that she felt like I wasn't supporting her. But this is a new day right here. She's been helping me, and she's not forcing me to come on here. I'm willingly to come on here to do this. I just want y'all, I just want to clear the air Ed, that I'm going to stand beside my wife through Christ. Do y'all know what I mean by that? I can tell y'all I've been delivered and mess around, do something stupid, then y'all gonna really think something different of me. But do y'all really know what deliverance mean? When you get delivered from what you've been delivered from, meaning you got to really see, you got to fall on your face, you got to see, cry out to God, and not only just do that, you got to stay in your word. You got to wake up in your word. You got to go to sleep in your word. I've been doing that. I wasn't doing that back, back weeks ago. I wasn't doing that. I was trying to get delivered, but not only being delivered, you got to do work. You got to do work. You got to fast. You got to seek. You got to pray. You got to constantly stay in your word because that's the only way you're going to do it. And what's helping me is the book of Proverbs. Proverbs has got a lot of wisdom in it. Meaning, if you do right, years will be added onto your life. But if you do wrong, your years will be cut short. So what I'm trying to say is this. I have went over to my family, told them this by my wife, told them that by my wife. She won't let me do this. She won't let me do that. reason why she won't let me go nowhere is because the trust. I tore the trust up. It was my fault. I'm here explaining this, y'all. I promise y'all, I feel like a new creature. Y'all don't believe me. I ain't no anger here. Because I'm showing God that I really want this. And I'm not going to let the devil make a fool out of me anymore. I'm going to cast him back. He's going to be sent back to the pits of hell where he belongs. He got kicked out of heaven. Woe to the earth. Do y'all remember that? Woe to the earth. Satan and his demons have been hurled down. Woe. That means woe. Y'all take heed of what's going on down here. So we need God. Satan and his puppet masters, his demons are down here trying to take control of people. He don't want us to understand the word of God. But you're going to have to pull closer. You're going to have to seek it for yourself. A person, you can have somebody pray for me. Oh, Sister Mary, will you pray for me? Pastor Morrow, will you pray for me? And I'm not trying to allegedly call their names out like that. But God, forgive me. What I'm trying to say is you can have somebody to pray for you all day long. If they're praying, my might help. But until they're praying, that they're praying, they can pray for you all day long. It's in you. It's up to you if you want it or not. You got to seek God for yourself. You got to cry out to him. You got to sincerely want him, willingly want him in your heart. Meaning when you willingly want God in your heart, here's the world, here's God. Which one you going to choose? I choose God. So what I'm saying is, a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. I found a good thing and I didn't even know it because the devil didn't want me to know it. The devil was using me to manipulate my wife and I didn't even know I was doing it. And when she was preaching, the devil was telling me, oh, she don't know what she's talking about. A woman ain't supposed to be preaching. A man's supposed to be preaching. Well, here I am. I'm coming right now. If to let y'all know it. If my wife is going to be with Christ, filled with Christ, 
filled with the fire, filled with the Holy Ghost, I want some of that too. Because how can we make it unequal to yoke? And it took me a minute to to just think about what they said, unequal to yoke. Okay, now I see why me and my wife keep bumping heads. The disrespect. Looking at other women out in public. She don't like that. So from now on out, I was delivered. I don't have no care for porn. I don't have lust in my heart. I don't have the desire to do drugs anymore. I'm not scared to call that thing now. I used to smoke marijuana. It's behind me now. I used to smoke black and mouse. It's behind me now. I used to drink alcohol, slip up and drink it here and there, thinking it's okay. Oh, uh, God, I ain't gonna care. No, it ain't. Either you gonna put, either you gonna be hot or you gonna be lukewarm. I'm hot. I'm hot. God finna use me. Y'all think I'm on here playing. I ain't playing no more. I told God, before me and my wife moved out from over our last spot, I was in there talking to God. I said, God, by the time I'm 43, I'm putting these black and miles down, and I'm going to put this marijuana down. And by the grace of God, I kept, kept hungering forward in my heart. It kept coming from the inside. I kept wanting. I kept calling out to him. kept calling out to him. I threw up. I had this one prophet pray for me. I threw up so much. And I thought I was delivered, but I wasn't. So I done some bad stuff after that. And I'm going to get further more in detail about that. But y'all just going to have to bear with me. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is, I will not doubt my wife anymore because she is a woman of God and it is what it is. It ain't going to be sugar-coated. I got her back. I'm not going to be here to hurt her. I'm her protector. The godly way is the right way. That worldly way was wrong for me. I'm surprised she stuck by me this far. My wife has a lot of patience. When I tell you my wife is strong, she is powerful. She is powerful. And she is a woman of God. From this day forward, I will not let my family disrespect her. No one disrespect her, especially me. I'm not going to disrespect my wife anymore, period. I'm not looking at no now another woman. I'm not looking at no bull crap on TV. If it ain't nothing that's got life about life, nothing that's going to help me grow in my mind, nothing that's going to help me grow in my thoughts, and nothing that's going to help me grow my ideas so I can better my life, to where I can uplift my wife so we can have a better thing to go on, so we can grow together. I don't want it. But if it's got something to do with growing in life, I want it. So I'm not going to doubt. I just want to apologize to y'all for all the things that I have done wrong from this day forward. I'm not just on here. Did nobody put me up to do this? But God put this in me. This the God in me speaking right now. This ain't the worldly way. This is me. I don't know what this feeling that I feel, y'all. I can't even explain it how I'm feeling right now. Y'all just got to just go seek and find it and get that feeling for yourself. Because can't nobody, everybody else can tell you how they feel. But until you seek and get that feeling for yourself, that fire, that glow for yourself, you ain't going to find it. You got to seek it so you can find it. So, from here on out, from this day forward, I love my wife. I'm going to pray with my wife. I'm going to read these scriptures with my wife. And I'm not only going to read it, I'm going to understand what I'm reading. God is giving me knowledge. And with knowledge, meaning if I can gain knowledge, I don't have no choice but to gain life. So, we're going to gain it together. I'm going to get up where she's at so we can be equally balanced and equally yoked. So I thank y'all for this. Let me share this. And I just want y'all to know that I love my wife. And from this day forward, through Christ, 
through Christ, I shall prosper. Through Christ, from here on out, y'all shouldn't get nothing but good reports from me. With that being said, I am Pinky Foster, coming to soon be Pastor Foster. It's in the making. Thank y'all for y'all time, and I ask that may y'all stay blessed, and y'all enjoy y'all day. Oh, <laughs>